Hey guys, Brett Matthew here. I am back with another video. And happy Sunday. And happy New Year's Day, guys. Um, yeah, so, anyway, so, to be really honest, I am filming this in my backseat, because, uh, why? Because I got this light on, and this light on. Yeah, I know, I'm kind of it. it weird sometimes so yes uh you want to know what happened right here when i try to put like organize my stuff in the closet yesterday that actually this part literally broke on me but it's a packaging but who cares i mean i don't know but uh yes you get the figure and it comes with a free darby allen poster inside and yes it's from i think yeah, it's from Jazzwares, and it's Series 5, and it's LJN. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get him out of the package, shall we? Right, I thought I paused the scene. Okay, guys, so here he is out of the packaging. Um, no, he does not have a Chase variant. I wish he does, because, um, Cody Rose had one right before he went back to WWE. But, yes... There is the little necklace, and no, it's not removable, because, um, you don't want to, like, take the head off. So, yeah, uh, got the cool hair, the wrist tape, the, um, what do you call those pants? Shorts? Like, uh, tights? That face paint really is cool. That actually reminds me of the Misfits, uh, skull. You know, the... Boy band misfits. Nothing. Nothing so we're till you are underground. Um. So yes, I did do a Darby Allen something related unboxing. I think it was that like wrestling buddy I did like back in 20, 2021 of December that year when I had a a thing about like plushies and all that. Well, I still have a thing about plushies now, but, uh, yeah. Um, anyway, guys, so, yes, um, and this is actually the first January unboxing of 2023. But, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe until you're underground. Hey guys, Brett Ness here. I am back with another unboxing video. So yes, um, so first let's do the Mario box, for, uh, Happy Mail box. So yeah, uh, this is actually promoting the new Mario movie that's coming out in three months in theater. So you get Mario in the middle. The side you get Peach and Toad, and um, I can't open up the Happy Meal if I open up the box. You get. Bowser and Luigi. So yeah, um, comment down if you guys are excited for the Mario movie as like like as I am. Oh, let me like. Yeah, I'm actually ripping that. I didn't mean. Hey, there we go. So yeah, um, so let's get to the package that we bought last week. Well, the other package I bought, like, about four days ago, but, you know, like, let's put the Mario box to the side, and let's see what we got in the package. Okay, guys, so here's a little envelope here, and I got this all the way from Texas. That's where, um, Booker T, Chavo Guerrero, Eddie Guerrero is from. Oh! Yeah, uh, yeah, Keith Lee is also from Texas. I thought he wasn't, but, uh, I guess he is. Okay. Oh, cool! So we got toy number four. Uh, here she is. Toy number four is Spinning Peach. Um, by the way, I actually like that new Mario logo for the upcoming movie. So let's go ahead and get her out of the package. I don't know why I used it now because there was a little tear strip in it. Alright, guys, so here she is. Let's move that aside. Let me just, like, 
Hold on, let me fix my tripod. Okay, guys, so here she is. Um, yeah, you can see a little smudge is there. And, uh, well, what's her gimmick? Well, yeah, all she does is spin. Um, so yeah, uh, looks very accurate to the beautiful princess from the games and the upcoming movie. So yeah, you can tell there's like a little dirt there, but, uh, but I don't know. Uh, but yes, um, there is a surprise toy, if y'all remember from, like, last year, around, like, April time. They actually did that with the Sonic Movie toys, which kind of made people upset that they accidentally spoiled Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Which, um, a lot of people saying that about the Mario movie with the little one, I'm not gonna say, because, uh, they didn't actually, like, hit it or nothing, but, uh, yeah, because you guys can see the little thing right there, all you gotta do is spin it, or, there, ah, dang it, there we go, wow, like I said, it looks very accurate to the actual Princess Peach that we know now, and the movie version, uh, comment down, who is your favorite Mario character, uh, let me know down in the comments below, and anyway guys, I hope you guys like, Comment, subscribe. Alright guys, so, back with another unboxing video. So this one I actually bought on December 30th from PA. Which I want to say that looks like Pen Pennsylvania or, um, what's that other, I don't know. I know there's like a state, there's Pennsylvania because Kurt Angle and, um, Gene Snicky, Snisky's there. Um, yes, yeah, so like I said, bought this, um, so, if y'all wanna know how I bought, when was the last time I bought a, a Happy Meal toy, it was, like, around, like, November when Black Panther Forever came out, but, uh, that Princess Peach toy, uh, that I bought, that y'all saw me did in a boxing, I mean, uh, wrapping of, in a boxing, cause y'all aren't complaining in the comment section, but, uh, yeah, I forgot to mention to you guys, like, this was what was crazy, before I went to check my mail, to get the packages and mail. Like, the electricity was out. Because, including the Wi-Fi, too. I was like, what? I was like, oh, no, don't tell me hey, they cut off my Wi-Fi. But they didn't. But, uh, yes, yeah, so if y'all want to know what's in here, I will show you guys. And it's pretty cool. And, yes, I actually, it's actually, um, something for January 27th. Because, uh, y'all know I can't play this game. Because it's only coming back out on Xbox Series X and S, also PS5, on January 27th. So, let's go ahead and get this out of the package. Okay, guys, so here it is. Uh, limited edition Dead Space 2 exclusive content only on PlayStation. Um, yes, I did do a re uh, unboxing of Dead Space 1 last year. So, yeah, you can see Isaac Clark here. The side, the bag, and I also noticed that it's from GameStop because the seller who recently bought the this, who just sent me this game, just got this for uh from GameStop actually. Bring the horror, bring the terror to space. Um, includes the PlayStation Move support. Actually, who actually remembers that? The, the one that kind of like the Nintendo Wii. Dead Space extra Extraction prequel to the original Dead Space. I want to say that was like a spin-off game that... I think that nobody played. I think they did play it, but it was only on Nintendo Wii. So, here we go. It, that is just a napkin. What, why would it sell? <laughs> oh my gosh! Are you? They literally sent me a napkin. What? So yeah, you get the disc and this. Oh good gosh! Yes, it does not have the online code because uh, 
If y'all get some of these older games on PS3 or Xbox 360, you get an online code, say like you did with SmackDown and Scratch 2011. But first, let me check the disc and see if it's scratched. Nope, it's in good condition. All right, so let's check out the other things too, except for that. So you got Bulletstorm. Wait a minute, is that that is that that weird video game that came out like in 2011 and re came out again, but only on Xbox One with Duke Nukem? And uh. Yep, there's the online code right there. Oh, cool! You could also get merchandise too from uh, Dead Space, like the backpack. I think those are movies or graphic. I know Aftermath was a movie. A lot of people hated it. Action figures, t shirts, and Isaac's. Uh, Pulse a, pul a little gun thing in the game. But you can actually find that on eBay if it's not too expensive. Because that's where I got the, uh, this game at. And a hoodie and a backpack that looks like um, Isaac's health meter? Remind me of uh, Big Daddy from Bioshock. But um, anyway guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'm sorry this unboxing was so long like the... Last video was, but I promise you guys the next unboxing will probably be short. Promise you guys that. But still, I don't know why they sent me a napkin. But anyway, guys, I'll Whew. so yeah, I hurt my finger badly, not injured. So I had to carry like a few things in, and yes, I am doing a unboxing. Get my own, well, hold on. Get my own boxing knife. I think that's from yesterday's unboxing, a little piece of plastic. And I got this from Amazon. Can't wait to see what it is. So here we go. Um, but by the way, uh, yes, um, it's not cold out here, but it's going to probably be rain, raining tonight. I don't know. But, uh, yep, my finger still hurts from carrying stuff in, like, a little grouchy because I gotta be responsible with food. And, um, my beard is growing back, because if y'all could tell, well, I shaved, like, almost a month ago, so, um, yeah, and there's the neighbor's dog. So, anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get this out of the bag and see what we got. Okay, wow. Look at that. We got the old school rock. I wonder if he has his, uh... I wonder if it's... Yeah, his giant's removable. That's pretty cool. I thought I was going to get the one that looked like it had paint on it, but I don't think that's not the case. Here he is out of the bag. Uh, let me take the tags off, so I'll be right back in the next scene. Okay, guys, so... Took the tags off, so here is the tag. The rock old school style. It just sets the rock because uh, if y'all know, it's just a redesign of the rock, like the press day rock and his uh old school attire. Cause see, you could tell this looks like the exact same rock y'all seen. There's also a re-release of this one too, but it's a Walmart exclusive. Just like the Jordan McIntyre, Roman Reigns, Macho Man, Randy Savage, and um. I guess they'll call Steve Austin. So yeah, um, his glasses are not removable, but yes, you can see what his glasses we like without the glasses off. Which I think I ripped a little bit of it, but that didn't mean to do that. Yeah, it looks like his glasses about to come off. But um, anyway guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.